Okay, if you had health nut parents like me, you would know that they would tell you this little thing of, oh, just put a little green in your diet. It's kind of hard when all the companies that have green in their branding are actually terrible for you. And you'd be like, well, why would, why would companies lie to me? To make money? No. Would they? Would they? So I'm gonna talk about deceptive food advertising. I know so many people have talked about this on the internet. There's like so many health food channels, but I wanted to specifically talk about how some companies or some specific like food restaurants and fast, even fast food, like they, they, they want to sell certain foods as if they're healthy, but they're not. They, they just wanna sell things for a profit. I guess I should just start this off by saying I'm clearly not the healthiest person in the world, but I just wanted to make this known because I think they're very deceptive with how they clearly want to sell these products as being really healthy when it's like, dude, everything else on your menu is really bad for you or it's just bad for you. And the first thing I really wanted to talk about was like just diet drinks in general. Like there's this new wave of people trying to convince people that, oh, you know, let's get, let's get a diet soda because it is healthy. I watch a podcast and the, the, the host, um, he really likes to get diet drinks because he's like, he, he, he dies on the hill of it being super healthy. And I'm like, dude, it still is bad for you. At the end of the day, sodas, no matter what, they're gonna be terrible for you. And man, people are still advocating for this shit. Diet sodas are still sodas. And that's what I really wanted to talk about. People are like, oh, it's not that bad. It's a diet soda. People are talking about it like it's healthy. And that's my problem. Like, it's still bad. And that's mainly what I wanna talk about for all this stuff. Like, it's not healthy it's still bad. There's like a healthy version of M&Ms or Hershey's or something. I was trying to find an image for the healthy Hershey's I was talking about. And apparently they have healthy Hershey's for like all of their brands because Hershey like is a conglomerate that owns like everything. And apparently they have healthy Hershey's for like everything. They have zero sugar York patties, zero sugar Jolly Ranchers, organic Hershey's. There's even like plant-based Reese's and plant-based Hershey's. I actually found the plant-based Hershey's and the plant-based Reese's here at my Walmart. It is in fact a total of 17 grams of sugar and the first ingredient is sugar for the Reese's. Oh, it's a little bit less with 15 grams of sugar but the first ingredient is still sugar. And this is plant-based. Yeah, if the plant is sugar cane, they don't explain anything on here. Hershey's does not want to give you anything healthy, all right? They just want to squeeze into the healthy market. They want to trick you into pretending like it's healthy, you know, be like, oh, this is healthy. This is the healthy version. And what do we have here? The simply version of Reese's chocolate syrup. Like that's any healthier than chocolate syrup. These aren't healthy. They just knock them down a little bit. I've, I've tried to make this argument to my friends or my family. It's like, if you're gonna have a sweet treat, you might as well just go all out. So with the diet soda, it's like, sure, you can, drink that soda and pretend like it's gonna be good for you, but it's not gonna be good for you. People drink it and they like know it tastes bad, but they're like, I know it tastes bad, but at least it's better for me. It's like, what? Just drink the normal soda then. It's still bad for you. And now 
Since people have caught on that diet soda was bad for you, the companies have created a whole new racket called the Zero Sugar version. I know it sounds like a catchy title, Zero Sugar. It must be good for you. It's still soda. It's still bad for you. I know it has Splenda in it or whatever, but trust me, it's still bad for you. The first restaurant I majorly wanted to talk about was Subway. Now, there are still people that really think that this place is healthy. And this goes for a lot of sandwich places or sub shops that people think, oh, well, there's vegetables and there's greens that are in the sandwich. So it's not half bad that I'm going to have two giant layers of bread in the sandwich. Like, I hate to admit it, but this is going to piss a lot of people off. But I would just say that sandwiches in general are not healthy meals. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And I, I, I know, like, I feel like this isn't well-known knowledge to, like, the normal person. It's like a snack. It's not like a healthy meal. It's crazy, I know. When you walk into Subway, you see all the vegetables on the wall. Yet again, there's that green and yellow branding. But then you see, oh, they're selling cookies on the rack, the chips, and again, the really thick bread. And then you realize, oh, okay, I see what they're doing. Right here, we got our entire soda beverage place. We got a line of chips. These cookies have carried my entirety of my legacy at Subway. I would be nothing without the cookies. A lot of chips here, a lot of variety, let me tell you. And then we got our soda machine. We have our very own bathroom. It's all just the profit motive, and yeah, I understand it. I actually heard, and this is confirmed, the bread is so sugary that it's not considered bread in Ireland. And, and Subway isn't as popular as it used to be back when it had a pedophile, but you know, I get it. And you know what's funny? Back when Jared Fogle was working for them, what did they do? They advertised it as, look at this guy, he lost 275 pounds in 11 months, walking to Subway every day, getting a sandwich and walking home. So they advertised it as if it was a meal to lose weight by, but it's not. It's very carby, very sugary, but not to give Jared Fogle any credit here, but I'm sure that he was working out in other ways. If you look at Subway commercials, which they're still running on NFL games and stuff, they're sponsoring these big NFL players. Like, they want to show Subway as this really healthy sandwich that is almost giving these NFL players their energy, you know? Like, they don't say that, obviously, but it's like, oh, you know, I love Subway because it gives me, I, they don't say that, but it's like, what are you implying? It's like, it's, it has all these vegetables and it helps me work out or something, I don't know. There's an obvious implication that, it's like, oh, see, a big and strong NFL player loves it. It's gotta be healthy. Something like that, right? You know, I knew so many teenage white girls in my hometown of Chardon, Ohio, that would buy these Dunkin' Donuts coffees in the morning because we didn't have a Starbucks. I know, it's tragic, but they would buy the Dunkin' Donuts coffees in the morning before school, and they would, oh man, they would buy a large iced coffee with cream, sugar, and caramel. Like, that would be like the main thing. And I actually used to work for Dunkin' Donuts. Hey, what's up? What's going on here? <laughs> Give myself a shower. <laughs> This is what happens when you. <laughs> this, is, this is what happens when you when you mess with cream or. 
What does this remind you of? Ready? Oh, shit. Is this a video? And man, you'd have to pump four pumps of caramel syrup and then four creams and four sugars, sugar syrups. Like, these girls don't wanna have to worry about being pre-diabetic in high school. This is like a whole ass meal before breakfast. And some people would also get breakfast in the morning once they got to school too. You all have probably seen that ice spice coffee, but it's like this huge controversy. Ironically, actually, my mom follows that guy super closely. It's like Bobby's Choice or something. She's like, oh, I watch that guy every day. My friends, this is a pumpkin swirl frozen coffee. Who the thought it was a good idea to put this on the menu because this drink has 185 grams of sugar in here. How much is it? It's this much. It's 46 teaspoons of sugar. To give you another perspective, the amount of sugar in there is equal to 14 glazed donuts. Plus, there's no pumpkin in here. It's artificial flavors. There's 12 mentions of sugar and high fructose corn syrup in here. There's 930 calories and 194 carbs. Two thirds of us are already type two diabetic or pre-diabetic. If America runs on this, we're f So yeah, that shouldn't happen. To not know what's in there. Because you, you really don't know because you're ordering it and you're like, Oh, ice spice is on there. That's cool. And then you open up the donut. It's like, this is actually what you're getting in one drink. And of course, I loved the way that he said, if America runs on Duncan, we ain't running really far or something. I, I don't know. I, again, it's a slogan where they're kind of trying to come across as healthy or come across as like bringing us together or something like that. It's like, but it's not. It's not healthy. It's not good. It's not cool. Very shady. An another drink uh, is the new Sprite bottle, which just looks like straight up like a flavored water. It used to kind of have this green tint to it. Like you would clearly know that that's a soda. It looks like candy, but with this new design, it looks like flavored water or something. Yeah, I just don't understand like, you know, the Sprite logo is a little, lemon and the lime you know obviously it's a lemon lime flavor but come on they're they're just trying to be like it's fruity i don't know it's weird the last thing i wanted to talk about was panera bread or healthy restaurants in general this might be just me but the reason why you're going out to a restaurant is to have fun let loose eat something nice and usually nice food is a little bit on the unhealthy side. It might not be complete junk, but it's a little bit unhealthy. It might be sauteed with something. It might have a little bit of a bleh, you know what I mean? It might have something nice on it. And it's not always completely healthy, you know? A nice dessert, nice dessert, you know? A nice chocolate cake, you know? A, a nice creme brulee, you know? Like, it's not always healthy. I mean, I get getting like fast food because you, you want to get something quick, but when you go to like a healthy place, they're not going all the way with trying to make it healthy. I'm going to burst a lot of people's bubbles, but like, would you like going to Chipotle or yeah, Panera Bread, these places, they don't try their best to make things healthy. They're just trying to meet their bottom line by making things efficient and fast and getting the most money they can. So go to a place that you'd actually like to eat at. I guess what I'm saying is don't be that one friend that says, what's the healthy option? Because the healthy option isn't healthy. There isn't. Like the lettuce is probably always stale there, you know? The water is probably always infected with some fucking bullshit. It's probably always the tap. Like, you know, it's it's not 
it's always unhealthy. My mom, God bless her heart, she wants everything to be the most healthy option even when she goes out to eat. And she, like I said, follows this guy named Bobby. She has this app called Bobby's Choice where she wants to make sure that it follows Bobby's protocols. But and I'm just trying to say that sometimes when you go out to eat, things break protocol and that's okay. And I feel like that's a good way to end this video off. It's okay to break protocol. Like, it's okay to eat Subway, but it's not gonna be healthy. It's okay to drink a whole ass smoothie of a coffee, but it's not gonna be healthy. It's okay to drink a diet soda or a zero sugar soda, but it's not gonna be healthy. It's okay to eat Panera Bread or go to any one of these healthy restaurants, but it's not gonna be healthy. It's okay to eat something that's grain-free, gluten-free, keto, but it's like, you're just trying to eat the main thing there. So just eat that, you know? Have some fun from time to time. A lot of these companies and restaurants all they wanna do is make things as quickly as possible, as cheap as possible, and as fast as possible. And I would know because I've worked at so many different places, like the Dunkin' Donuts we talked about, and even in retail where they mass produce so much stuff. It's definitely quantity over quality, even the quote unquote healthy stuff. I even have years experience at this place called Rascal House where they made everything under the sun, like pizza, fried chicken, chicken wings, breadsticks, pretzel sticks, fries. Some people try to get like a healthy option, like, you know, a small or like maybe something in the corner of the menu. Like, you might as well get a belly buster at this point. I'm glad I'm out of that environment now and I'm so glad that I'm like working out regularly feeling better, and actually, I think it's time for me to go for a walk right now. And I think I'll pick up something healthy on the way home. Definitely not Subway. Something much more healthy. Um, Jersey Mike's.